Hello and welcome to Inside the Women of Denver, where leaders share their successes, failures, and lessons learned on the journey to success. I'm Crystal Covington, founder of Women of Denver, and I'm here with Jennifer Olson, owner of Develop Solutions. Jennifer has over 20 years experience combined with certifications in business and leadership coaching as an energy leadership master practitioner and a certified instructor in the art of feminine presence. Jennifer's unique blend of credentials enables her to weave proven business strategies with non-traditional, physical, energetic, and values-based leadership practices that help business owners and professionals fulfill their greatest potential. Jennifer, welcome to the show. Thank you. All right, now let's get started by just sharing a little bit about what you do. I mean, we said a lot. It sounds like you've got a lot of credentials. Yeah. What does it all mean? <laughs> um, so what I love doing and what I help people with, specifically business professionals and business owners, is I love for them to make the money that they want to earn. Yes. Um, I want them to make the impact in the world that they want to make, be seen as a leader and be seen as an expert in their field and live a life of freedom and flexibility that they really desire. Nice. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about how you do that for people. Yeah, so what I, what's really important to me and what I think um, on the gra grander scale, if I can talk a little bit about what the world needs, is there's a lot of challenges out there. And I think that in order for the United States and the rest of the world to really tackle some of those challenges, I think we need leaders who are willing to step out and take the, you know, their particular expertise and their potential out in the world to tackle those problems. And I think it's not just for those who are brave enough to step out, but it should be people who want to be leaders at each and every level, because it takes everybody out there to really make a difference and mm -hmm. to bring all of their unique perspectives to the table to create that impact and that change that the world so desperately needs. And so I like doing that one person at a time, whether it's through business or through leadership. So do you primarily serve a certain population or do you serve everybody? Well, um, well generally in terms of business owners, I, I help folks that are looking to do a service-based business okay. um, who are really engaged in helping people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and then in terms of business professionals, really it's everybody because I believe that anybody can be a leader, everybody should be a leader. It's just a matter of how they can step into that role to do something that's uniquely only they can do. Yeah. So when we spoke previously, you talked a little bit about uh, three keys mm. that you'd like to share. Yeah. What are those three keys and why are they meaningful for people to know about? Yeah, well, you know, yes, we wanna make an impact in the world, but mm. let's be honest, we also want to be successful whether we're leaders, um, business owners, we want to be successful in a lot of different ways, to make money, to feel like we are an expert and that people know who we are and to just live the life that we wanna live. And so in terms of being successful, there's three traits that have been identified to make anybody successful, whether mm -hmm. that's somebody in a business that wants to be a leader or an entrepreneur who's really wanting to get to that next level in their business. And those three traits are leadership, just not just leading yourself, but leading and inspiring and motivating others. Uh -huh. Business strategies, which I think a lot of people spend time on. There's a lot of strategies out there and how to do business and how to do leadership. Um, and that's an important piece. Uh -huh. And the third piece is team. And I think this one is so often ignored. We cannot be successful as leaders or as business owners without having the right people around us, the people who believe in us, who see our potential, and who want to see us succeed. Because there's a lot of fear that comes up. There's a lot of things that get in our way, and without the right team behind us, we can't make that happen. And so that means our family who believes in us, not the family that doesn't have time for us. Our friends who believe in us and who want to support us in every step along the way, and a mentor, which few people actually have, and a coach. And okay. those two people play very different roles, um, but you need both to be part of a really successful team that's gonna make sure that you're going in the right direction. Okay, so how do people find those? Um, let's say I wanna start, a, build my team. Yeah. What do I do to start finding those people to be my support group? Yeah, uh, the first thing that I like to tell people is 
look who's already in your sphere. You know, who's around you that you feel good with? Because the people that you feel good around are the people that are inspiring you in some way, that are seeing you as a person, um, that are really wanting the best for you. Because that's what makes us feel good. We want to be seen, we want to be heard, we want to feel like we connect in that we're in relationship with people. So first of all, who's already around us? And you know, that's your first team, right? Mm -hmm. And then you want to reach out to people who is, in terms of mentorship, you want to reach out to people who are on the path of a path that's similar to you or doing things that you want to learn and they're successful at those things. Okay. And you want to learn that from them, right? So who are those people? Aside from the actual you know, task that they may be doing, we also want to make sure that they're aligned with our values because we can learn a lot from people, but who they are rubs off on us the most. And we want people only around us that feed us in a great way. Of course. And then coach, I think, um, there's a lot of people out there calling themselves coaches. And I think the number one thing you need is that you have a connection, you feel good with your coach, that they are there for you and your agenda and to see you succeed. And okay. if it's really about some bigger program and all the different ways you can invest and um, it's not about you and feels good in terms of nurturing who you want to be, that's not the right coach for you. Uh huh. Yeah. Good. Okay. So tell me a little bit about your future in this business. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's probably a lot of people out there that want to follow Absolutely. in your footsteps and want to do something similar. So yeah. what would you say to someone who wants to get started in this? What would be some things that they need to start doing internally yeah. as far as processes to start changing within themselves? And what are some things that they can do externally as far as certifications, mm -hmm. things that they can learn, people they can pursue as mentors? Yeah. What would be your advice? Well, I think, I think that we all need to know ourselves and we each need to be a leader in ourselves. And so that means doing the hard work internally and externally to make that happen. So from my perspective, um, I think that you really need to work on your personal presence and what, the, for some folks, that's known as executive presence because it's what gives you the ability to be seen as believable, as credible, mm -hmm. and as trustworthy. And also how you look in terms of confidence. And if you don't have those things, people do not trust you. Right. So you can't be a successful coach, you can't be a successful business owner, and you can't be a successful um, business professional in any realm because people will not put their time and effort into you. So I think presence is super important in terms of leadership. Absolutely. Yeah, you need to you know, also have your mission values, that kind of stuff done. You need to do all the inner work because when you can motivate and inspire yourself, that's when you're ready to motivate and inspire others. That's super important. Um, and when you can embody leadership, then you're ready to take the next steps in terms of how you want to help people. So I think if you want to be a coach, if you want to be a good mentor, the first thing that comes up is you have to care about people and you have to see their potential because they can't. Mm. They can't always. Um, then you can go out and there's a, a number of certification programs out there that you can do that. Um, life experience is a great piece that starts that and then getting certified as a professional coach is super important um, so that you know the field that you're working in. Yeah. Um, but there's, there's a ton of those programs out there. So those would be what I recommend. Great. Well, yeah. it's been a pleasure talking with you. you is there well. any last thing that you want to share with people before mm. we go? Oh, last things. Yeah, you know, um, so many of us really, myself included, right? We really want to be seen. We want to be heard. Um, and we want to be seen for our best potential. And so few people look for that in others and make them feel that potential. And I don't know, I, I love doing that because what I love most is meeting somebody and making them believe they can do more than they think they can. And so that would be what I would hope others would do is go out there and see the best in people and yeah. then hold that vision for them when they can't. Amazing. Well, thank you so much you. for sharing that with us, for yeah. that final piece of wisdom. And I want to thank you mm -hmm. for being here with us.